Hey, welcome back to Norton Tesla. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Jawa wireless charger. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's product review time. So Jawa, I don't know if you've heard of them, and I hope I'm saying that right. They contacted me and wanted me to uh, review some of their products. And I haven't heard about them before, but I checked their website out and it looks like they have some really cool stuff. Uh, they're all Tesla owners, so they know how to design stuff for Tesla and what makes it good. So first off, we're going to do the wireless charger. So before I get into it, uh, please take a second and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. All right. So this is the wireless charger. When I went on the website originally, the first thing that caught my eye was the it comes with a wood grain finish. So obviously I have the black uh, interior and I li would like something that matches the wood grain. I'm not much into the wraps, but this is like a little subtle kind of hint, and I think it would really tie the car in nicely. So I was excited to try this. So the features of this are, so this is a pre-refresh Model 3. So obviously the new ones have the wireless charger built in, but if you don't have that, then you gotta get one of these wireless charger pads. So it's compatible with all Tesla Model 3s and Ys with the pre-refresh. Um, if you have, a, you, do, you can use a single USB port for Tesla Model Y or 3, or two front USB ports for the Model 3, which is pre June 2020. It supports 15 fast, 15 watt fast charging, and think it says uh, EPP wireless charging. So it says thanks to Boostlink technology, it supports up to 15 watt fast charging. And you can also charge in various ways. So you can do it either vertically or horizontal. It also says you can put it on your AirPods as well. And the other cool thing is it has built-in dash cam and Sentry reader. So this supports up to two terabytes with a Sentry, uh, it's not a Sentry, but a micro SD card, which is cool because if you do have the pre-refreshed -re uh, Model 3 20, before 2020, you don't have that USB in the glove box. So you're either doing it in your center console, taking up a slot. If you don't have a hub, that's precious. So it's kind of cool that you have uh, a micro SD right in the wireless pad where you wouldn't think of looking, which is good for if the reason you want to hide your uh, Sentry reader is for thefts. You don't want the, the thief stealing the footage of him stealing your car, right? So uh, people wouldn't think of looking there, so it's nicely hidden, and it's not taking up a USB slot. So that's great. All right, so let's open this thing up. All right, so we have the 15 watt EPP wireless charging, which kind of goes to iPhone fast charging. It's got three zones of coverage, so you can have your phone uh, vertically or horizontally. And there's your micro SD slot right there. Oh, wow. This is really nice. So you can see here, like look at how good this is. Like the wood grain matches the dash perfectly. Uh, it feels really nice. You have some rubber uh, grips over here to make sure your phones don't slip and a divider and a bit of rubber underneath here. This is really nice. And this is a little slot for the little micro SD. Uh, just pop that in right there. So when it's just sitting there, you're probably not even going to notice there's something there. So this is really nice. And then your two uh, cable slots over here. Well, so the box, so we have, uh, I guess this is the AirPods. Uh, so you put your AirPods in here so that it'll stick where the actual charging surface is. And you have uh, two sets of cables. So you have USB-C to USB-A, two of those. And then some cars do have the USB-C to USB-C, so you have that included as well. So I have the pre refresh 2020, so we'll be going with these two. All right, so let's go ahead and do the install. All right, we're gonna get this thing installed. I have a bunch of phones with me ready to try out and see how they work and fit. So we'll get to that in a second. First, you wanna install it. So you're on the back of the unit here, on the back of the charger, you'll see two USB-Cs. So your cars, you're gonna have, be able to plug into two USB-As or USB-A and USB-C, depends on how your car's set up. Mine is uh, two USB-As. So you're gonna plug in the USB-Cs back here, just like so easy to do all right and then we're gonna move it into the install of the center console all right so you're just gonna fish the cables through like so and you'll see like your these little circle tabs here will line up with these four here 
I'll show you how to lift this up. Like so. And you can see there. And then you just gotta plug them in. That helps. There you go. Should close that. So first up is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So as you can see here, it's not fitting. We'll go like this though. And it's charging here, but not vertically. So let's go ahead and take off the case. Let's see if that where it does go. So it does fit with a case, without a case. So Next up, we have the iPhone 11, that's just sort of the regular size. This is a, a thick outer box, so we'll see if it charges through it. There it's charging. I'm gonna swap this one out. This is a Samsung, I believe it's a Galaxy 9 possibly. I'm not a Samsung guy. Again, a thick outer box. There you go. All right, and then your little uh, micro sd slot is right in here so once it's in you can barely see it um, really nice so i really love the look of this all right i've had this for a few days now and i have to say i love it it looks so nice and matches the dash perfectly it almost looks like it should be stock. It just ties in the car so nicely. The other great thing is that it charges super fast. The charger I had before was barely noticeable in my hour commute, but this one, it charges so fast, like in my hour drive, it gained about 20 to 30% on my phone, which is amazing. The one downside though, is it obviously doesn't fit my phone. So if you have a Mac size Apple phones or a comparable Samsung, it, just, it will fit without a case, but not with the case on. Uh, the regular iPhone, uh, like a, the uh, 11, fits fine, even with one of those big auto box cases. Uh, so what I do is I just put it horizontally, and that works for me. All right, so I really like this wireless pad from Jawa. It looks so nice and charges really fast. I'll have the link in the description. And if you buy the wireless charger and SD card bundle and use promo code JWEU14, you'll essentially get the SD card for free. How awesome is that? And be sure to check out the other products. I'll have a few more reviews coming soon. Now, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in more cool Tesla accessory products reviews, or want to find out all those hidden tips for your Tesla, be sure to subscribe. All right, we'll catch you later. See you next week. Hey, welcome back to Nord Tesla. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Jawa Wild Bap. All right, so we're still recording. Look at that, eh? Okay. Help this channel out. I really need a script. I can't do it without scripts. No, 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 All right, so, all right, so, all right, so we're going to get this thing installed. One of these, and it's good because you can just, it's not, uh, oh my God, I just, my light's gonna die too. Actually, get the SD card reader. Oh my god! So I came by here to shoot a video and uh, get a free charge. However, it's right beside the airport. All right, this is unbox take two because the first one didn't record, or I didn't hit the record button. Great. Uh, so Jawa sent me this wireless charger. I was excited. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a product review. Uh, Jawa over here sent me, oh, I can't talk, I just can't talk. Well, catch you later.